was that movie last night? Yeah. Thelma Louise? Yes. I told you about the road, Thelma Louise? Yes. Well, looky here. And you realize we're dating ourselves. Thelma and Louise. <laughs> what is this, a 1990s movie or something? Remember that? It's a classic. It's a classic. Well, let's go check this place out. It's called Thelma Louise. We're out here in Tacopa. I'm just outside Tacopa. Well, actually, we're closer to old Tacopa, yeah, which is really have... original Tacopa. Where Tacopa is today should be really called Zabriskie. That, that's my personal opinion. That, that, wait, you know, wait, why do you think it should be called Zabriskie? Because just outside of Tacopa, which Tacopa didn't exist back when Zabriskie is around, I mean, right by the mud bath, yeah. that was Zabriskie. Mm -hmm. Tacopa is this way a couple miles. That's interesting. Yeah, I it's didn't nuts. know that. It's I nuts. didn't know that. It's nuts. It's nuts. Yeah. Thelma Louise Road, Tacopa. It's on the way out to the mines out here in Tacopa. So check this place out. We got some we got some exploring to do. Let's check it out. Okay, we were just over at the the end of these power lines as they go out this way, out to uh, I believe it's the uh, is it Excelsior Mine Road or uh, Spanish Trail. It's one of the two. But we were just standing right over there. Came down the road, and as you can see, it's, it's a well-traveled little path. You can camp out here 14 days at a time, you know? BLM, it's beautiful. You get this amazing canyon. As you can see, it's a beautiful view. And, um, well, heck, it looks like you can actually hike down into it, but you'd have to really kind of scramble down a bit and it'd be really difficult to come back up. But I don't know. Great little valley though. And uh, it goes all the way down to China Ranch. Or past China Ranch. This is where that, that watershed comes from. Before it passes by. Tons and tons and tons of boondocking opportunities out here. Um, I only see one boondocker out here. If you're into that, but it's free camping. You're close to Death Valley, which is just over that mountain range out there. You can see Telescope Peak way out in the distance out there, peeking around there. There's the snow covered mountain of Telescope Peak and Death Valley. So we're close and we're not. <laughs> There's the Eminence Front X5. Polly's out here with us today, checking this stuff out. She seems to have found something here. Hey, Holly. What you got going on here? I just find it fascinating, this man's life, Peter Jacobson. Peter Jacobson? Yeah. Did he die here or something? This was, concrete this slab concrete you see. slab oh, represents his former, well, this is his former home, what's what? left of it. The miner was here? Yeah, and he built this. I mean, there's a. It's just a fantastic story because he came out here with his dream. He built this mine, this uh, house here, and and then his mine was right across the way, apparently. And I love the name of his mine. His mine. Yep, poet laureate of the Mojave Desert. What a great name for a mine. You know. <laughs> I've That's heard brilliant. of that before. That is brilliant. I love it. I remember this name, the Poet Laureate, Laureate of the Mojave Desert. Yeah, I remember hearing about this, or not hearing, reading about this. Not even reading. I, I remember running across this on the map. Google Maps, I think. It's actually named that. I think it might be on uh, uh, Google Maps or Google Earth, one of the two. But I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can pull that up. Well, this is his homestead. What? His homestead. I wonder what this was then in the center. It's a big box of dirt. I don't know what that is, Larry. That's more your expertise. <laughs> but what I'm but what's really interesting too is that he used to he brought water up from this gorge. Water. Yeah, he brought his water up from down the, there. Yeah, that's pretty far down. To it water is. Up. It's very steep. And I have you looked I, down there? I've looked, and I want to go hiking down there on, in the future. I have this thing about palm trees. I, I just love palm trees. And 
beautiful palm trees down there. It's like this little oasis down there. But over here, I think, is uh, where we can see where this. Oh my gosh. Because look at this. Yeah, there's rubble down thing. there. Yeah. There's stuff right here. I can see it here too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's okay. material down in there. There's one right there. Yeah. And it, maybe it's buried, I don't know. There's more stuff on the other side here on the... Yeah. Oh my gosh, look up here. Where? Up here, up oh here. My goodness, let's, go up there, let's go up there, let's go up there. We're making our way over to you, babe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh look, look, an old that. plate. And let's see where, I want to see where this is in relation to his Oh, house. I thought this was a plate. This is just some kind of piece of porcelain or some sort. Look at all this. I'm gonna stand. Who knows if this is just, well, I don't know. This looks really old. Okay, so the slab is there. The slab in relation to all of this is right there. It's diagonal. That's where the car is, isn't it? Yeah. Right, right by the car? Yeah, there it is. Right there. So this makes sense. You'd pro probably want a generator of some sort or a, look, 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 look. This, this is probably why it's over here. Maybe the footing for some kind of engine to power a, a pump to pull water up from the canyon to run over to the building. Oh, that, this is so beautiful. I, I really want to come back and like hike. I was just saying that. I wanted to go I want to go down canyon. there too, yeah. Yeah. I mean look at that rock face. It's like a little mini Grand Canyon. Oh yeah. A little mini Grand Canyon carved by by uh what river carved this? Do well, you know? I don't know what this one's called, but this leads into the Amagrosa River. Some, something carved. Look at how beautiful this is. I love it. Gotta go, come back and hike that. Pretty amazing. All this glass. Well, because it's it's BLM free camping. You don't know what's old and new. Like, and we don't know if this is this is old debris or new. I mean, who does canning out in the desert? And this looks like a chain, like from a, from an engine. It's all, it's all, it's all solid now. Yeah, solid. <laughs> that used to be a chain, you know, you can kind of see yeah. it. Like a timing chain. Now, if I lived here, which I don't, but if I did, and I had a mine that's right here on this hillside, I wouldn't go down to those telephone poles there and go down that road. I would just make a road myself out. But even out here, you're finding stuff that looks like it was, it belonged to him. Jacob? Is that his name? Jacobson? Mr. Peter Jacobson. Peter Jacobson. Okay. Old pieces of metal, piping, fittings. This looks like scrap, maybe. They were cutting pieces out with some kind of torch. Or something. Piping everywhere. But there's a mine around here, huh? Yeah, there is. It's not far away. We can walk to that. I want to head out to that mine. This is cool though. You got a great view. You can camp here for free 14 days at a time. It's hard to beat this. You got a short explorer or a long one. If you want to go down into this valley, you can go on a really great hike there. Or we can go out to this hillside and check out what uh, more modern, primitive mining operation would look like. Okay, so the, the mine was across from Ferns Creek Road from here. The only thing I can see across the road from here is this guy over here. Well, well that's a little too far out, but uh, yeah, this mine over here. There looks to be scarring on the hillside there. We're gonna go check that out and see if this could have been his place. It might have been. And I, 
and I think this is where I saw the, the name of this mine, and I thought it was such a weird name. It's funny that we're here, though. I just saw this on the Google Earth just a few weeks ago. I'm just intrigued by the fact that he came out here with his wife and his kids. Yeah. I'm just intrigued by the fact that he came out here with his wife and kids, and he just decided to make this life. And it's in the middle of nowhere. He's completely independent. And there's his mine, and he brings the water up from this huge gorge. And he's just alone with his wife and children, far away from civilization. It's a fascinating thought to me. It's just, you know, it intrigues me. Okay, so we just left. Where that sign is, is right where the car is, okay? Um, we just started walking towards what we think is the path I would take to the mine. And there seems to be a road going out to said mine out there in the distance. Let's go check it out. I can imagine him walking down here. I don't know if I'd walk. I would probably take my truck because you're coming back with ore or, you know, material. You're gonna have to carry it somehow. I would, I would take a vehicle, but mm -hmm. this looks like an old path. Yes. It's, it's faint, but it's there. I just love that you can still do this. Even now, you could still do this. You could still get a mining claim, set up a homestead. It's all legal, right? Yeah. So I love that there's still that opportunity for those wild hearts and to do something like this. I love it. I just wish that if they were going to do that, they would at least make it so that you have to be a U.S. citizen to do that. You know, it, they're, they're allowing anyone who has money to buy that to do that. And I, I think that's wrong. Okay, so we parked way yonder, okay? Now we're way over here, but you can see we picked up a trail. Now there was another trail that we saw going in this direction, but it looked way too rough and going way go over going over way too many washed out roads. So we think that this would be the smarter road to make. Ignore this bush. <laughs> okay, it's right in the middle of the road. You can kind of make out the road going off in the distance. Now again, this probably hasn't been used in over 30 years, okay? So that's the growth you're seeing on this road. But it goes right up to the mine. Now the mine, some mine uh, evidence, or it looks like evidence, is up on this hillside up here. Uh, I can't see it because I zoomed out too far. Uh, it's right here. We're gonna go uh, check that out, as well as what's on the other side of this little mound ahead of us here. Okay, well, as we're walking up the road here, we ran into this tie. Oh, uh, hi. Hi. And we think it's because of the Ticopa Railroad that used to run through here. You can almost make it out going up the siding here, but there is a trestle here. Which you can see going out in the distance there. I pulled ahead of Holly a little bit. She's behind me right here. And we're heading to this mine, which we think is Peter Jacobson's mine. And I do see uh, some remains of uh, working. So we'll see what that's all about and report back when we get closer. But this looks intriguing. Well, we just came up from this way. And this is what I was seeing down there. It looks like a little ore bin. A little shoot. There's a little shoot right here. It looks like it's more for gun practice now. The door there from a car and uh, that wash basin there. Wow, look at that purple glass. I just noticed this. This must be older because this purple glass only turns purple in sunlight. little artifacts but what's up here 
Let's go check it out. And what's down this trail? That goes up on the side. We gotta check that out too. Let's go investigate. There's all kinds of little artifacts back here. Oh, I found the mine. <laughs> found it! Here's the at it. That's pretty major. He he was not messing around. Oh. What? Yeah, this is no joke. You mean lead into a stove? Crumbly rock, mineralized, big time. Wow, it goes further down there. I'm not sure how far back it goes in here, but it looks like it stops right here. I'm gonna stop and turn on my light and turn the camera right back on in a second. Man, pretty cool to see this back here and I'm glad to see it's open. But this is this is a no joke mine. I mean, you can get hurt back here. Didn't we see a sign out there that said, "Stay out and stay safe, Larry"? I'm out. I'm safe. Uh, yes, you are. Okay. You got lucky. I'm obeying the sign. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been in a mine before, Larry, and this is really scary for me. Okay? Which is why I wanted to lead you in, but you wanted to do it yourself, so. Oh, I want to go by myself. But do not look down. Just look straight ahead. And don't yeah, panic. There's a ledge here that's pretty. Oh, yeah, there yeah. is. It goes straight down. It's just, you know, it's dark. I don't know where I'm going. It's spooky. Wow, but it's it's amazing. I'm glad I'm not. I'm glad I'm taking the opportunity, but I it's scary to me. Really scary. Wow, I feel this a breeze coming from down there. <laughs> and yet, you, I know you've done a lot of mine explorers. Now all I see is darkness. Yeah, I'm acclimated. I can see all the way back to the wall. The Here, take a look at the camera. You can kind of see a little farther back. But it, it curves mm -hmm. around to the right, uh -huh. and then it has another open stope. And there's there's also uh, uh, airlines back here. So here's running at least air back in here. It's scary to me. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm it gives scared. you a creepy feeling. You're not scared. It's kind of, I'm scared. It's kind of claustrophobic. <laughs> Go to the light. <laughs> It's fantastic. I'm frightened. I don't want to. This is a, very scary for me. And it's almost instinctively. It, it brings an instinctive reaction to get out as quickly as possible. Um, I'm going across on the ledge now, which is scary for me. No, well, I guess it's a ledge. Yeah, it's a ledge. Yeah. And here I go. Watching every step. See, that one was not a good step. <laughs> That's what I, is below me. And I find it. There. I'm out. But that was uh, frightening for me. Okay, we came in from that campsite way out there. Walked across. Here's where that mine was just at. Okay at it we have walked up a little bit and up this road which looks like it goes this way and then up the side of this hill to something let's go check that out we'll turn the camera on when we get closer to the top there yep 1929 and we're still following that road going up to what we think is the last bit of the mine there so let's go check it out we also noticed that there's a little primitive road here <laughs> kind of goes over to this area, but defunct, no longer in use, going to this one up here.
Wow. Looks like a mine shaft was up here. Maybe a couple. Open mine. Open mine down there too. We gotta watch our step. And this looks like an open pit here. Or a shaft, I should say. Yeah, that's a collapsed shaft right there. Doesn't go very far. It's down there. Maybe a searcher. Part of a stove. Looks like it's all closed off. We got stuff down here too. Looks very prehistoric up here with this dark rock. That's something BLM probably closed down. It does look like a lot of people have been coming back here. There's a definite path through here, or it was what the miners were doing to haul their rubble out. I don't know. A little searcher hole. little valley back here. It looks beautiful. Furnace Creek Road is right back there. It's going towards Tacopa. I believe that's Tacopa Mountain Peak back out in there. I believe it is. Right there. But this immediate valley right in here, that's that's amazing. My goodness, girlfriend's way up there. See her? See? See Holly? There's the road we came in on. And our campsite's just, just out there. So yeah. Not hard to get to. It's beautiful out. It's about 60 degrees. Great for hiking. Wonderful little adventure. If you're boondocking out here, just to come out and see what this is all about, it's pretty amazing. And look, so look at this mineralization and these rocks here. It just stopped. Wow, that's pretty deep. Okay, not messing with that. Our campsite's straight ahead over there. Well on top of one of these hills, we discovered a path, a cleared path, going to the other side of where the Peter Jacobson mine was. Why? That's what I wanna know. Is there something over here? Kind of just, oh my goodness. Is that an open pit? It's all hidden away, isn't it? 
You see uh, see how wide a shot I get this as wide as I can get. There's nothing else back here. And how were they getting their material out of here? It's very curious. Very interesting. Oh, I see there's two holes now. Okay, well, there's one at the top. There's one at the bottom. Is there a tram here? Huh, I don't see any roads, path or anything. The Poet Laureate of the Mojave Desert. That's where we were just at, which is, we believe, right out here. Now, the issue I have with that being the mine out there is we are finding debris on the ground. Cans, cigarette casings, like Prince Albert casings, okay? But yeah, what I originally tried to do was create a video about a place to boondock. And this is Thelma and Louise. We didn't know, I didn't know, did you know that this was here? I didn't know this was here. I've heard of the name of the, of the mine, but I just thought that was a joker mine, but that's some serious stuff out there. I'm gonna go back there someday and go further down, excuse me, farther in to the mine shaft and, or at it and see what's down in there. Uh, it just got too dark for this camera's uh, flashlight. What did you think of the hike? The impromptu, we weren't ready for a hike. We were just coming out to see a boondocking spot, okay? But what did you think of the hike? I love the spontaneity of it. The mm -hmm. spontaneity, how we just came out here to... You were telling me about this Thelma and Louise road that ends up in a cliff. It turns out to be this huge gorge, first of all. It was much bigger than I thought, like this little, it was a canyon. It's like the Grand Canyon. It's this like mini, in Louise. little tiny. It's probably why they named it after Delma Louise. Very dangerous because if you don't, you don't see it. You don't see the edge. So you have to be going, if She's you're going talking about fast, the ending of the road. You could easily drive into the canyon easily, by accident if you didn't know what was going on. But could, they have it pretty well marked, I, I think. For Maybe for you, for someone like me who's a distracted kind of if driver. You're going, if you're going more I, than five I, I miles an hour down that road, you're going way too fast. I could, yeah. But we started with that, and then we came upon this slab, which turns out to be the home site for a miner who brought his wife and daughters out here so that he Peter could Jacobson. mine. Peter Jacobson. And yeah. I love the name that he chose, Poet Laureate of the Mojave Desert. Right. I, I just love that. It's a romantic name. It's an unusual name. And I can just picture this man alone. He apparently brought water up from that gorge, which is fantastic. The independent heart that this man had, his hardy wives and children. He's far from any town. If you get medically if there's anything wrong with you, I don't even know how they'd get help to you. That's probably why he moved out of here. Look how old he looks this in the is, picture. Yeah. Okay, guys. Old. Thank you, Holly. Thank you for coming out with me. Trudging through the open desert with me. Climbing a hill that has nothing on top of it with me. And then coming all the way back. That was like a three, three mile hike there. You're welcome. Ain't no joke it's out fun. here. It's fun. Totally fun. Eminence Front X5. Myself and Holly, signing off for now. Shh.